quick video, then I'm out. About to go do some comedy real quick, but um, uh, I saw this statistic. My homie, uh, Brandon Jones, posted video, uh, posted a video of Joe Joe Rogan. He's credible or anything like that. If you read my uh, the title of this video, I said if this is true. I'm not saying what Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan said is true. I said, if this is true, then um, <clears throat> we got to look at this uh, COVID situation and uh, this virus situation just beyond getting some needle in the arm and putting on some dirty ass masks as a means of protecting ourselves, man. We need more preventative maintenance. Now, last year I did a video and I, 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 I want to find it. And uh, what I said in the video, I, I remember, what I said in the video is that a lot of people across all major sports, football, baseball, basketball, boxing, hockey, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? A lot of individuals in these different groups, they caught COVID and they got through it just fine. I can't think of one athlete that's one active athlete that passed away from COVID. And then from what I, my understanding is hundreds of them caught it, if not thousands. None of them passed away. So isn't that what you do in science? You look at a model or you look at a group and you see which group is more successful, right? Or the most successful in whichever like situation they're going through. And then you try to use that group as a model to serve as a means to pattern yourself after so you can mimic said success. What do supreme athletes do? Eat right, exercise, don't overuse drugs and alcohol, uh, positive mindsets. Yeah, you got crazy ones that use steroids and, and you know, they have different like other issues. But I'm just saying, just from a physical standpoint and just their bodies having the ability to fight off um, uh, uh, opportunistic uh, viruses and bacteria, things of that nature. We have to start pattering ourselves after them. It's just a nicer way of saying, yo, we just too fat. If 78% of people who are on ICU with COVID, then that tells me that we need to improve our health as a nation and as a human family in general, man. You, get, you got the COVID shot, that's cool. But if you're not working out, if you're not eating right, if you're not doing all the things that you need to be doing, what was the point of really getting a shot? Do you really, really care about your health? You getting a shot, but you still getting drunk every night, fucking mad bitches raw, letting mad dudes hit it raw, uh, still doing coke, smoking tons and tons of uh, all, all kinds of stuff. You pick your drugs, you smoking it, you drinking it, eating loads of pork and fat and all this stuff. The COVID vaccine... Uh, oh, COVID-19 or the Modelo virus is the least of your worries. You can't claim that you're concerned about your health and you're concerned about living longer if you're not taking care of yourself beyond just thinking that the, sh the shot is like the, 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 the end all be all. And that goes for the government too. The government don't really care about us because if they did, they wouldn't allow certain foods to be on the market for us to, to, for, for us to consume. Now they'll say, oh, well, because COVID is just something that uh, it just randomly affects everybody, you know. Um, yeah, but listen, people being obese and dying young affects people too. That, that, that affects the economy too. That affects people too. That affects families too. All I'm saying is you got to give your body a fight and chance even before even before this this covid thing existed to the magnitude that it does we should have already been keeping ourselves clean and being more sanitary we should have already been strengthening our immune system taking vitamins you got you got some people that don't eat vegetables or fruits at all they eat shit and crap every day and they sick all the goddamn time they just want to take pills instead of just walking and exercising and working out 
and taking care of their body, man. Whether you believe it has anything to do with obesity, and it, and it definitely does. Being obese and not eating right, not taking care of your body, does, that, that, that makes you more susceptible to all types of sicknesses. That's, that's not even something for debate. That's just reality. But like I said, you take a look at pro athletes. Name me one pro athlete that passed away uh, from COVID. And I'm not saying that we have to be pro athletes, but we should start mimicking, it, mimicking that group because that group is successful. That's what science does. Science takes a snapshot at certain groups and they try to mimic said groups in order to have success. But nobody's mimicking that because it's wrong to say that you're obese. It's wrong to say that you need to take care of yourself. It's wrong to say that you need to get in shape. It's wrong to say all those things. Why is it wrong if it's, if it's, if it's making it better for you? Most of us have cars, right? When you have a car, if you don't do the preventative maintenance, in the long run, you will have very expensive things to take care of. Your brakes, your whole brakes, your, your fuel alignment, your engine and things of that nature. Well, all you had to do was get your oil changed every 3,000 miles, get your tires rotated every 50,000, um, get your transmission flushed every 100,000. There's certain things that you have to do to avoid yourself from having to like deal with a, a lot more damage and, and, um, and uh, 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 repairs. You know what I mean? That you wouldn't have had to dealt with if you would have just stayed on top of it. And the same thing applies with the human body. People are just afraid to say motherfuckers is fat and out of shape, man. And I'm a fat, out of shape motherfucker. Now I'm down 30 pounds and I'm working on it and I don't eat nowhere near as bad as I used to. I don't eat like sweets and none of that stuff. So I've definitely improved myself and I, I see an improvement in myself. But if the government really, really, really cared about our health, man, wholeheartedly, they wouldn't be trying to force this fucking needle in our arm, man. Even before they got to that point, they would try to fortify us as human beings and encourage us to get ourselves healthy and to lose weight and to start eating right. I go back to the snapshot of the, of the Supreme Athletes across all sports. None of them is in ICU. None of them are majorly sick. You can't say it just because they rich, because there's plenty of rich ass rappers that die off of this shit, yo. It's a few rappers that passed away from this shit. And they got they got money just like uh, athletes. But the only difference is, rappers don't take care of their bodies as, as, as well as athletes do. Rappers don't eat as good as well as athletes do. So it's not about the money, it's about it's about the fitness, the preventative maintenance. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule. Yes, a diesel person or an in-shape person passed away. But it's all about numbers and statistics and percentages, right? That's what we're going off of. We ain't just, we're not just talking about individuals, right? We make decisions based on percentages as far as getting jabs and things of that nature. So why can't we make decisions as far as uh, how we take, our, take care of ourselves based on like the amount of uh, healthy athletes who haven't passed away from it? And they, they've been exposed just like everybody else has. That's all I'm saying, man. You show that you really, truly care. I don't want to hear that you got the shot. I want to hear that you lost 25, 30 pounds. I want to hear that you're eating right. I want to hear that you haven't ate, ate a pint of ice cream in 30 days. I want to hear that you didn't drink no alcohol in like a month. I want to hear that you took a hike. I want to hear that you take your vitamin C every day. I want to hear that you take your zinc. I want to hear that you take your B12. That's something I got to start doing too. B12, I, 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 you know, I don't take. I want to hear that you take your vitamin D. I got to take my vitamin D too, huh? Well, today's just, what, is today, today Monday? No, today's Tuesday. I got to take my vitamin D for the week. I want to hear that you take your vitamin D. Don't just talk about just one thing. The, 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 the vaccine, and it's not even a vaccine, it's a treatment because a vaccine means that you're immune and people that take this shot, they still pass it on to other people. And just so conveniently, ever since the vaccines have been going out, now all of a sudden we got the COVID variant. I mean, not the COVID, the Delta variant. Coincidence? I don't know. Delta didn't exist 60, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, a few months ago. Now everybody got shots. Now Delta's coming around. Because they, they, you're dealing with treatments and you're dealing with something that uh, they say vaccines take at least like 10 years of data just to kind of get a clear idea of how it affects you. 
And we trying to put something on people that we haven't even had for like eight months. No data. We don't know. We trying to fuck with nature and fucking fucking with things on a, uh, a cellular and molecular level. We don't understand how that shit fully works. Anything can fucking go wrong. But one thing we do know is that strengthening your immune system, being in shape, eating better, having a positive attitude, just having a stronger immune system in general is the best defense against any type of virus or bacteria. And we know that because we look at the athletes who represent the top physical condition of our society and none of them passed away, man. If you can't look at that, like that's a proven model. No athlete passed away. No, no current uh, active athlete passed away from COVID. Or was majorly sick. Now, some got sick, but not majorly sick ICU status. None of them. So why can't we use that as a, as a snapshot and try to pattern ourselves after that to strengthen our society to the point we don't need these shots, man. We need to just take care of our physical body, take care of ourselves. That Do preventative maintenance before we got to replace the whole engine, man. That's all I had to say, man. I'm out. Peace.